I have a battery charger that I use to charge all sorts of batteries everything from you know lipos to uh, car batteries uh, and it works very well I love it and it was worth the cost so I recommend I don't normally do this but I recommend you get one of these if you are gonna buy a new battery charger this thing is just the bomb so um, kind of wanted to go through different ways to use this power supply as far as the power source and you know it comes with these these uh, alligator clips that have also these uh, bullet style connectors and so you can put these clips on and I think most people probably just uh, connect it to a car battery and this in this case, this is actually a uh, tractor battery. So, a lead acid battery, 12 volts, and there's plenty of power in this battery to to charge many batteries from this. Um, if you're charging smaller batteries like lipos, um, I don't think you could take a car battery and charge another car battery uh, very well, maybe. But either way, uh, this works fine. But when you go to the field and you want to fly you have to charge your batteries generally under your you know you open your hood in your car and you connect this to your, your battery in your car and then you can charge your lipos and fly but I didn't like that idea too much because it's not in the shade on a hot sunny day and it's um, you know it's not it's not in the pavilion where at our club we have power so what I'm looking for is a way to not use 12 volt lead acid battery and actually just be able to plug this charger into a socket and power it from AC power well uh, Hyperion they probably have a power supply for this uh, I did not look and I don't uh, I'm not interested in that because I am going to integrate this battery charger with a power supply for it that will use AC power and into a, an enclosure that'll have uh, um, a drawer for the small parts that I've got like the propellers and the small wrenches and things like that and um, so that's a bigger project that I need I need an external power source um, for this to, uh, to fit that project so that I can just um, go to the field and take the charger in its box out um, of the vehicle and bring it into the pavilion, set it down, plug it in, and I'm ready to hook up my lipo and start charging it. What I normally have had to do is take this and the finished power supply, um, which this is what I'm going to build in this video, and connect connect the charger to the power supply and plug in the power supply and then I've got all these wires all over the place it takes up a lot of space and plus the darn power supply that I built is too loud so um, the fans are quite annoying to me and uh, you can hardly have a conversation next to the thing when it's charging a battery so in this video uh, series or whatever I'm going to build a power supply for this and uh, the Goal. One of the goals or one of the parameters I've got is I want to build a power supply that is capable of running this battery charger at its full output power. So that happens to be 550 watts maximum. So um, right now my largest battery, and I and I don't imagine I'll go too much larger than this, but this is a 5s. I'm sorry, a 6S 5000 battery, um, and uh, I definitely want to be able to charge these. I may want to go a little larger, but uh, you know this charger will um, this charger will handle handle up to 14S with two of these. But really, I think it's 1S to 7S with this one power this one charger for a lipo. So I want my power supply to supply whatever this charger needs to charge its to its maximum output in other words 
charge that ba that big battery pretty quickly so I don't have a lot of downtime waiting for the charge to finish. So 550 watts, that's the key. The DC input up here is 10 to or 10 and a half to 29 volts DC. Um, and what I found, and I'll probably discuss this more in detail, is that if you try to charge a 6S LiPo uh, by feeding this charger with 12 volts, it'll charge, but it'll only charge at about at about 11 amps. There's a 20 amp maximum uh, on this output, and I don't know, I don't think I see it here on the label. Oh, there it is right there. So 20 amps maximum rate. So you've got really two maximums. You've got the power is limited, and then the amps are limited. Whichever one's li hit, whichever limit is hit first, that's where it, it limits out. So you can charge up to 20 amps or 550 watts, whichever occurs first. So what I found is that if you charge that 6S battery at its highest 20 amp setting, it will only run up to about 11 amps if you're supplying the charger with 12 volts. I need to overcome that. What I actually found, and hopefully we'll remember to discuss this later, is that if you feed this with more voltage, you can get the 20 amps out of it. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this up uh, with a power supply that is 24 volts DC and you know if you have 20 amps out you probably have 22 23 amps in because it's not 100 percent efficient and so I need to make sure my power supply is capable of that much current but with 24 volts in and enough current available this will charge that battery at 20 amps so it really charges the battery quickly and, and, and it's great so um, so what are we going to use for power supply here right so okay let's put this aside all right so um, you could you know use the car battery or a tra you could even take a tractor battery with you if you wanted to to, to wherever you're going to charge your batteries and fuel or whatever you could buy a power supply they're not extremely expensive but I'd rather build it if I can. It's more fun. It's more satisfying. It's uh, you're able to customize and, and build exactly what you need. Usually, design and build it yourself if you have the capability. Uh, that's what I like to do. So, um, okay. So let's see. What about what if we were to look for 12 volt sources around the house that you know have an AC have an AC uh, plug and 12 volts out. Well, here's a um, this is a voltage selectable um, power power adapter and so the output is in this plug and you can put different plugs on here but um, so I can get 12 volts out and if I look at what the power capability is here I get 12 volts if I'm set on 12 volts and one amp, and 1,000 milliamps is one amp, voltage in volts times current in amps is power. So this is going to be 12 volts times 1,000 milliamps, which is 12 volts times one amp, which is 12 watts. And 12 watts is nowhere near 550. So that is not a solution. What about another option here here's another thing that plugs into the wall at home I'm sure that's very common uh, out there this is a laptop power supply and uh, maybe this has 12 volts maybe we can use this well turns out this is got a 19 volt DC output at 4.7 amps maximum which if you multiply 19 by 4.7 90 watts. 90 watts is almost not even close to 550, so that is not an option. Okay, what about a desktop power supply? Well, here's one, an old desktop that I've got.
these are a little bit tricky because the power supply has a has an overall power rating and it might be um, let's say 280 watts well 280 watts that's pretty good maybe I can use two of these to get 550 oh but wait a minute look at the 12 volt this, this has got this is a power supply with six outputs so we're only, only interested in the plus 12 volt output so 12 volts has 15 amps available and that is only 180 watts So that is not enough to get us up to 100 to 550. So all these power supplies are just too small. And around our house, I could not come up with another power supply that was 550 watts with 12 volts DC ready to use. So the solution I came up with, clear the bench bit here. The solution it came up with was this. Computer power supplies are great. Computer power supplies are great, like in PCs, but they're underpowered generally for what I'm doing here. This monster is a power supply for a computer server like in a server farm. So when you get on uh, the internet and you're going to some website, there's a good chance that website is hosted by a server farm that has freestanding enclosures that kind of look like refrigerators. And there are server computers in there and each server may have a couple of these big power supplies. because They're very high powered um, computers. They, they do consume a lot of energy. And so a lot of times those computers will have two of these power supplies. Um, Great thing about these is they are of enough capacity. So first thing is, let's look at this label. All right, this one is, uh, where does it say? Looking, looking, output, 502 watts max. Well, okay, that's not 550, but uh, it's close. So let's see where we go from here. Then we've got uh, 12 volts, plus 12 volts, plus 12 volts. I've got 41 amps that this power supply can output. So that's great. We have enough power and we have a 12 volt output, so we should be good to go. And certainly uh, 41 amps at 12 volts is, is way over the 20 amp maximum. So there's plenty of current here. But like I said, the 12 volts is not enough to power that 6S battery, or to charge that 6S battery at uh, a rate that's over 2S, or I'm sorry, 2C. So I'd like to charge it at 4C. Um, so uh, I need more than 12 volts. So if I use two of these and I put them in series, the voltage will add and I'll end up with 24 volts and 41 amps available which is going to also double the power available. So I'll have over a thousand watts for my 550 watt charger. So yes, this is overkill, no doubt. This is uh, quite a bit bigger than it needs to be, but when it comes to server power supplies, it's hard to find a po server power supply smaller than this. And the great thing about it is they're inexpensive. You can get these things for about $10. Believe it or not, a working, they're used, but every one I've, I've purchased works just fine. Uh, and you're looking at $10 or $15 for one. So for, for about $20, $25, I can have a power supply for that charger that will just do the job. And... Uh, so another thing about these is inside there is a fan that is very loud and the fan is is right here on just this end and uh, it draws in air and pushes the warm air out the other end right so easy no problem um, thing is these things are terribly annoying as far as noise goes they're very very noisy and uh, it's more of an irritation than 